Welcome to the Swamp Donkey channel. This is a server that me and my friends have been playing on for about a year now, ever since another update came out. Oh, <laughs> and we, we have all kinds of different builds and different areas of the map that we've built in already. Farms and automation. But there's still quite a bit that I, I still have pla we still have plans for. We call, we call this base in the desert, Bear you Chem. It's, since deserts aren't super nice, we decided to bring some green to it. So with trees and flowers and grass, we brought life to the desert. This, this is my first build that I started here. It's inspired off the, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, which is an ancient civilization in the Middle East. So the, the contrast of green and the, the sand of lack of life and then plenty of life, I find is really beautiful. These be mine the beacons are a little colorful, but yeah. So I, I went a little overboard with this build. A lot of lot of leaves, but yeah. This is this is bare you cam. There's a lot. This is my friends have hopped on like a few friends that only joined a few times, built their own house houses, and then some that play a little more often built their houses here. Right beside Bear Ucam is the farming district, which we have like a sugarcane farm, purper plant farm. I f oh, they're called chorus fruits. Okay, that was the name. Okay. Bee farm. Under here, a bunch of bees. <laughs> the we have a big man made mountain there. The the and there's a lot of far builds that are incomplete. Like the nether hub. Home to Pumba, my hanging hoglin, and the future of many projects. The tunnel, the tunnels that go off in many directions. Quite a big uh, build that I'd like to make a lot bigger. Some storage, potion, potion brewing room. And another tunnel go off, goes off into another direction. There's my ocean monument base, where we built a guardian farm. I've started doing, I started decorating around it. Not, there's a lot of, there's many directions I can go with this. I'm not sure where, yet. But it's a start. The underwater part is pretty. I'm pretty proud, pretty happy with that. The the arches and the the storage room, obviously for the guardians. The I would like to make maybe an underwater uh, village and some more some more builds down here, like water themed. I even built the Notre Dame uh, of Paris church or cathedral complete completely. The exterior, at least, interior not not done yet, but I I put in a good amount of time building this bad boy. This I'm pretty proud of. It's here. Maybe I'll fly, Should give you a better view of it. It's quite big, and it took a lot of andesite and concrete pow a concrete. Doing it, doing this in in a creative mode would have been much easier. Sing, single um, survival mode was quite the challenge. I even made a garden back here, which is also accurate, like to real life, to the real life church. Using the be using a, a jump boost beacon was a big help. Climbing up the climbing up this whole thing while building it. So many trips back and forth, getting materials, coming back here to build it. It was so oh, it was a hard one, <laughs> but I'm proud of it, and I'm not done. I want to do the interior next. This is the the front. I've made a well, one of the fronts, I guess. The there's I put in a little garden, a little well. I and then yeah, so you got your interior. Doesn't look too bad. It's just there's grass and <laughs> things that shouldn't be here this will come eventually 
Now that the now that copper's out in the game, I'm gonna probably replace the the roof with copper. It's a church. Some candles. The new candles would be perfect. Uh, a lot of hours I'm seeing in the future. <laughs> gonna improve this thing. Finish it off. I want I want it. I want it to be done. But yeah, even that was the initial part of this area. This is where my, my our spawn is. Right over there, where that that portal. There's a portal over there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, so this is a spawn. This is spawn, and I figured this would be a great spot for it. Because there was nothing at spawn. We were always building at the, the bear you cam area in the desert. So, started with this. Then it was just this great big church on top of this mountain and this hill with nothing around it. So, I, f I wanted to... I wanted to surround it with something cool. And I was playing The Witcher 3, and which is a more an adventure uh, adventure game set in the the medieval era. And so so I figured the Notre Dame was built around that time period, so maybe buildings of that time period around it would look cool. So yeah, just to show you a few of them. There's, it's quite a, quite big, but there. This was another, you know, a, a good amount of time putting into this. I loved, I love building these. I'm not done either. Took a bit of a break on this village, and then I even built a farm behind it. Big tree. Try trying to make my own custom trees. Made a river here with some flowers in it more natural. Maybe I'll fly over it. I'll show you. A windmill. This is a uh, pillager farm. Try to get emeralds. It's not complete yet. But yeah, this 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 has the potential. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to add more to this. So, here's here's another place in my world. This is right underground from the berry cam. This is where my main chest room is. Main base goes upstairs I can fly out here so I have all my chests today in this episode I would like to make a moss farm the new block in the game because uh, th th you see there's a lot of plant life here I'd like to spruce it up with some moss like like I did here I already I had already started but I don't have enough moss to do to do the full job so I'm gonna go I'm gonna make a farm today right so back at Back at the farming district, I think I picked out a spot for this moss farm. The and at the same time, I think I'm going to revamp the the, uh, the the farming district here. It's a little the grass color is a little bleh. Like it could be, I think I'm going to replace it with moss. Sort of looks like grass, except it's greener. And I think that would work really well with this uh, bee farm. It's supposed to be like a lot of plant life super colorful I think I, sp I plotted out this spot right here I'm gonna get rid of all these trees and I'm gonna start start building right away not sure if I'm gonna be using them right now but here's the new candles this is my uh, my bee farm I got quite a bit of uh, honeycomb built up so when this update came out I was pretty much set for for that <laughs> These bees have been hard at work. Too hard at work. So they're cool. You can make them any color you want also. I don't think they'd really go well here. Maybe it probably anger the bees too much. And there goes the trees. So I could start this this build up. I'm thinking of using some acacia wood. Probably center it, probably like around here. So it's going to be. A, okay, so there's gonna be a stone generator for for to start off with. Okay, gotta get my reds. Gotta get that. Pistons, observers, redstone, Peters. So it's going to be. I want this. I want it to like get pushed out right here. So that would be one, two, seven pistons. 
So here's the idea. This is gonna, there's gonna be a stone generator. It's gonna be pushing stone out in a seven wide, um, seven wide. And here, and look at how cool this is. This is the moss block. When you bone meal it, all adjacent blocks, certain adjacent blocks are turned into moss. And these beautiful saplings for the azalea trees, which, uh, come out, which look like this. New leaves. New leaves in the game, finally. My favorite. They look really good. There's actually two. There's one with a flower and one without. I'm going to be using that. And they don't lose their color in this biome. Awesome. So this is the, the idea. Stone is going to be infinitely generating. A dispenser will be bone milling a, a piece of moss in the center replacing the stone with moss and the pistons will also be breaking the moss you'll you'll see how it works basically going to be farming the azalea saplings uh the moss block and the moss carpet which is this over here very excited to use those so there's to make a stone generator it's the inverse of a cobblestone one lava at the top and water at the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna need more water. <laughs> Seven blocks. Nope, doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, now let's block it off. All right, 30 minutes in the future, and here we are. It's about done. Just haven't put up the the minecart hopper to collect minecart hoppers to to collect the items. So let me give you a rundown. So we got the stone generator that pushes a line of stone. Uh, I'll turn it on and I'll show you it working. Then there's a redstone clock down here, which I could turn on and off with this lever, which feeds, uh, which powers the pistons. That's that, um, oops, that that um, basically powers the stone gen uh, the stone generator. And then it also generate uh, it. It also turns on these this dispenser here, which is always under a piece of moss because thanks to that obsidian up there. Which then, here, let me show you. If you bone meal it, oops, <laughs> that spread onto my diorite. Okay, the, and then it also triggers those pistons up top. Let me show you, how, let me turn it on and show you. So, yeah, it's spreading down there. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make that out of a block that can't be uh, mossed, I think. Let me fast forward the process. Here, if it has all that, and let me show you inside there. So bone meal, see it, it spread a bit of bit of moss, pistons crushed it, and then the new stone pushed. And all those items are stuck in there for now, but I'll figure a way to collect it. Now, do I have to change this diorite out or not? I'm not sure. It was spreading, but now that I put the blocks up, I don't think it will spread anymore. No, I think that's good. Okay, let me finish up the the mine the the collection system, and then show you. All right, she's all done. She's very loud too. It's so it's so uh, efficient that. Well, that's not moving properly. It's a me it was a puzzle setting up the whole. Minecart tracks under there. Oh, come on. He's about to make it. Come on <laughs> It's either way it's producing a lot. I don't think the minecart system is quite done yet other than that ooh, I'm getting myself a lot of moss blocks and All I need to put in oh wait, how am I gonna get my I have to fill that dispenser somehow Don't ask why they're shooting me may have killed their owner <laughs> I, lead, I attach them 
touch them with a lead to that fence. Can't get me. <laughs> Those two llama are just shoot, spitting at me. Let's see how long I can let that happen. Okay, it looks like it just completely stuck. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Oh, and items are popping out the corners. Okay. Oh, I'm excited to use these moss blocks and these flower these flowering azaleas and stuff. Look at that. That's just like a nice bush. Can I put this on top? Hmm. This is a cool block. I'm really excited. Creepy SpongeBob. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Roof incomplete. Evil evil llamas. Looking a little better. Almost done. I think I'm gonna do a little bit on the top. On the top now. This thing is really, really producing. Just the hopper that seems to be getting uh, overloaded. Takes a little time to, to unload. Hallelujah! It is done! I may or may not have done a lot of off-camera building. And it... So now it's an overgrown terrace, like balcony building. So I went with acacia, acacia wood, warped fences, the new uh, glowberry uh, vines, yellow glass in the front so you can see everything that's going on. So you have the, the minecart hopper and then the actual stone. Now let's get a good view. Oops. The actual stone that's being converted. There's no bone meal, nothing's happening. Let me show you how how annoying, how not good of a setup it is to put bone meal in. So I have a lot, a lot from a mob farm. So I have to get in there. I don't even have a, oh, here. Pearl, in, ruins hopper, who cares? Okay. Get nine stacks of bone meal, throw it in, that's it. I don't really know a way, I don't think I'm going to be able to automate that with a hopper or anything, so I'm stuck with that for now. But, oop, alright, so now you can see it going. It starts, it produces quite a bit. The, the seeds, I'm going to, I'm going to get a composter and automatically uh, turn that into to bone meal. Because as it stands, a lot, even the, even the carpets, I don't think I'm going to use that many carpets or even blocks, so... Either, yeah, so I might compost that. I, I, I'll, I'll see with that. But this is good. This is good. I already start, I also started spreading it. Spreading the moss. So it turns, it, the grass on top of it doesn't look very good, so I'm going to have to get rid of that. But, here, let me show you a comparison of savannah grass and moss. Look, that, that grass right there, and then your moss. So much nicer. Just gotta get rid of the tall grass and then it'll be perfect. And maybe a little too many of these saplings too. Nice thing is they don't turn into trees if, unless you bone meal them. Like that. Such a beautiful tree. The new leaves are awesome. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll spread the moss all around. I... I think I'm gonna get rid of, I did, as you see, that's a man-made forest I tried to make. I bone mealed trees on top of other trees, and I, I just left it like that. Very natural, isn't it? Very beautiful. <laughs> so that needs to be manscaped, landscaped, not manscaped, landscaped. Uh, and yeah, let's spread the, the moss everywhere, especially down here. Here, I don't, let me show you this a little more, down here. I want this to all be moss as well. I think that'll contrast really well. So I'm, I'll let me do that right away, actually. And here we are. Look at these bees; they're all flying. I was just using water to destroy all the 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 the, the grass that was growing. So I think I scared them up. I don't. So the the these beehives, the way they work is, I have a dispenser back there. Oh yeah, that's completely empty. There were shears, or uh, depending what you put in that dispenser. Either shears or honey, uh, sorry, shears or bottle, 
a jar. It'll give you honeycomb or a jar of honey, which is mostly decorative, but not at the the candles are in the game. Different function. It's got it's got more use now. So yeah, so I need I need to refill those dispensers, but it's it's automatic. It'll it just fills up these chests. It's a pretty decent setup. A little simple setup. So moss looks a lot better. Now I can start throwing in the, the flowers. And I don't know if I'll go with random colors or I'm gonna put the same colors again. I'll have to think of that. But I also have some some moss to replace a little bit more. I'm just gonna I was bone mealing the majority of it, but now I'm just gonna place it like this. I'm scared to hit them because if you hit one, they all attack you. And if they once they attack you the they sting you, they lose their stinger and they don't they don't come back. They're dead. They're gonna die. I don't want them to die. You know what? Let me get some more of them. In case that happens. If that happens, I'm running up my my bubble stream here, my bubble elevator. I'm I'll run away. Hopefully that won't have to happen though. Oh, this is not good. Okay, <laughs> that was hard. Uh, okay. Let me figure out the the flower color scheme and then I'll get right back. Look at that guy spin. Feeding time. Come on, little guys. Multiply. Multiply. And stay out of my way when I'm working. I don't want to hit you. Eat your flowers. It's good for you. Whatever nutrients you get out of that. Do it. Eat. Make baby bees. With your friggin... Siblings. <laughs> this is beautiful. Awesome. This moss, I'm, I'm very happy. This is looking really, really good, the moss. Almost done. I'm, I'm currently combining... I had a chest for each of these beehives, and now I'm combining it into one. Oops. Oh, no. I'm holding the flowers. <laughs> I'm getting swarmed. It's, a t it's two into one chest now, instead of each one having their own chest. It makes it easier to collect the honey. Uh, the, the, like the outputs, I guess. I just have to set up a system to fill up those dispensers. And then this thing is going to be running 24-7. Currently, it's a bit manual. I'm trying to convert my honey honeycomb into honeycomb blocks. And this cat right here, Garfield, is in my way. I had totally forgot. That's a thing. They, they block chests when they sit on them. A bee pushed him. I think he was like over here. And the bee pushed him all the way up the stair here. And then on top of that uh, chest. So I... So by the way, I'm liking what I done. Uh, what I've done here. I rerouted the the hoppers, like I said, and I I put in the the warped wood, which I think matches really good with the orange of acacia. Alrighty, look at this, awesome. I'm gonna say this is good. I don't know if I've overdone it with the flowers or not, but it's supposed to be a bee a bee sanctuary. So what a bees what do bees like flowers? It's for them, not for me. Look at that. That's cool. I'm happy with that. The grass is so much nicer now. Now, to deal with up here, it's starting to look like a jungle. With all this grass, all this tall grass. These saplings, that's way overkill. Time to water them down. Destroy it all. It's going to destroy the torches too, so I'm going to have to replace that. I've already had an incident. Almost an incident with a creeper explosion. I hate him. hate him. Ruin my day. All right, so let's let's do all this. Oh, there's dogs here. There's dogs up there. My friend's obsessed with dogs. Put them up there, and there's still even some here. Oh, I must have I must have triggered that water. Uh oh, I need a block. Give me a block. Where's my shulker box? Oh. Yeah, I have all kinds of shelter boxes in my ender chest, by the way. So I organized them all. I got wood, stone, redstone, uh, stairs and slabs all ready to go, like like this. Any stair, any slab you'd want ready to go. 
while I was walking along, destroying these leaves and bone mealing this moss, spreading the beautiful moss, I noticed my my old wool farm. I've recently made a better one than this. Well, a simpler, but better Th than this one. This one's designed, I think it's a, it's a cool, unique house. I, I put in a decent amount of work just building it, just the looks. But the, like with the, the random color wool on the wall. But yeah, this is all it's produced, I'm pretty sure, ever. Maybe a little more than that. This, oh, okay, never mind. Okay, maybe that's all it produced. And this this was from a different farm. The red and the white was a different farm. So, this is what it is. It's a sheep. The sheep are, so there's these water. Here, let me try to show you. There, there's a water stream right there. And it's pushing. And they're supposed to be pushing each other in a loop all around in a circle. And then under here, which is not happening, by the way. And then under here, we have a clock that I could turn on and off. Okay, we heard a little bit, which has dispenser with shears in it. You see, I they've never been used. Look, they're still pretty pretty fresh. And it makes an annoying clicking sound when you're here. Uh, yeah, but they're not moving. <laughs> this thing has hardly worked ever. I, I regret building this thing, and it's just a lag machine. I tried adding more and more sheep to it. Maybe they'd push each other more and more, but... It's a bad design. I think maybe the shape of it is wrong, but let me show you my my uh, my better sheep farm that I I think is much that works whole of a, whole of a lot better. One boat, one blue ice boat traveling device trip later. So here we are. We're back at the Notre Dame Church Village place still haven't figured a name for this area medieval village we'll say and it's at spawn so this is my barn that i built around a sheep farm there's llamas oh these <laughs> these llamas are awesome they're poking their head let me get my spyglass this is new in the new update by the way spyglass it's made by the amethyst amethyst so they always poke their head through that window I think they I think it's because they think they can make it through the trap doors. The trap doors are just too not to mention they're pushing each other, but they're just it's just not big enough for them to fit the big butts in there. And so <laughs> we get this. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the sheep farm. There's two one of every color. Just rows of them and basically all it is is it's a a dispenser with shears inside of it for each one. I haven't even checked, actually. Well, seeing that by the fact that they're all naked, it's working. But, and the storage room. Let me show you. Ooh, oops. <laughs> Let's put that away. Let's go down to the storage room. We got huge storage room. Wow. Yes. I haven't checked this in a little bit. Any color wool you'll ever want. Make banners, make carpets, make pixel art, maybe, probably not. Something like that. Any, anything you'll ever need for wool. Oh, and there's also a cactus farm here. Why not? Because, why not? In an effort to save the server some lag, it's time to call the herd. Free mutton. All of you go. Uh, I'll leave two in case I ever want to turn this mm. this is this is gonna be nice though remove a decent amount of lag how many of them were there like 30 die wow this wow the the sweeping edge on the sword is actually killing them they're just f dropping like flies because I have a strength beacon and sharpness five all right, I'm going to leave them there. Not even going to eat their food to disrespect them. Yes, finally. Drip leaf from a villager. Yes. 
Oh, my emeralds. Go fly. They're over here. In the shulker. Get them. Get them. Go, go, go. This is a rare chance that they'll uh, they'll trade this drip leaf right here. I've been waiting for him to spawn. Usually I hate the traveling merchants. Yes! <laughs> Usually I hate them, but... Because they never have anything I want. Like, one emerald for three green dye. Pod soul. Oak sapling. This is usually... Like, I, I would imagine this is for Skyblock. Not for a survival world. Because all that stuff is super easy to get. Okay, anyways. Look what I have now. So this is a drip leaf. I don't think there's a way of getting these back other than buying them. So maybe I should buy a few. Oh, we sounded excited. <laughs> okay, I'll buy a few of those. Uh, they're kind of cool. And then, this is the main reason. Yes! <laughs> and you could farm them super easy. And, oh, you actually have to break it. Like it has a... Okay, boom. There you go, you got a bunch super easily. So, the, I, I don't know if anybody's seen these before, but they're really cool. They're like a parkour block. So, when you stand on them, you see? They break after there's too much, like after time, they just break. So, that's awesome for parkour, like, it's whatever you want. So many options for that. And they just look freaking, they just look freaking cool. I think you could trigger them with redstone, too, to, to keep them opened permanently. That looks really, really awesome, man. Like, just for show, like, I could put, like, some here, one like that. In a It looks like a jungle. Does, is there a tool for this? Oh, okay, an axe breaks it instantly. Oh, awesome. I'm starting to think this is a little too green now. Or at least the same color of green. The leaves of those azalea trees are almost identical to the the moss. Hmm. I haven't added any flower like many flowers yet. I've started a little bit, which I think looks really really good. It pops like the like contrasts really well. But th the leaves on that building are almost the same as the, the moss. Hmm. Maybe different color leaves would be better. And this is where I'm going to end the video. So th thank you everybody for watching. Like some uh, like, comment and subscribe if you if you liked the video, if you think I earned it and give me any advice in the comments if uh, about what I can do to my future videos to make them a little better. So thank you very much and goodbye.